So, it looks like the M Drive paper is on its way. Yes. Finally. Yes. December 2016 is the rough date. Yeah, but put it in your diaries. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, it looks like the, uh, what was it, the American Institute of Aeronautics and Astronautics. Uh, I think journal. the publishers, yeah. Yes. Uh, has accepted the paper yeah. from the NASA Eagle Works guys yeah. about the M Drive. So there was like a, somebody posted uh, on a on NASA Space Flight Forum apparently like a few days ago, maybe last week or something like that. Yep. Saying that that had happened. But now the American Institute of Aeronautics and Astronautics have come out and confirmed, properly confirmed, that yep. the paper has passed peer review and that it's been accepted mm. and it's going to be published. So I'm going to finally get some... Some real Some actual peer reviewed science. Yes. The first time ever it's been yeah. properly peer reviewed like this. Yeah. Um, so we got some other information on that forum, which was then deleted. Yes. Which uh, we, you know, there's no reason to doubt any of it is is incorrect or whatever is posted by one of the people involved. Yeah, sure. And so that was the they, title of the paper, right? It was the title of the paper in the abstract. So the, uh, the title of the paper is going to be The Measurement of Impulse Thrust from a Closed Radio Frequency Cavity in Vacuum. Right, I mean, so basically that's just saying they're reporting a yeah. measurement of thrust from their sure. M-Drive prototype thing. And the abstract basically just describes uh, that they've tested it in a, in a vacuum with various, uh, looking at forward, reverse, all these different types of tests uh, of thrust, and it's, they've come out with what they think seems to be at a thrust level of about 1.2, uh, plus or minus 0 0.1 millinewtons per kilowatt. Hour. Right. Per, per, per kilowatt. So that's... a roughly what they were getting with previous other tests yeah uh, in earlier stuff it was something oh yeah no some, well some of the earlier ones like there was the Chinese one yeah I mean from this group yeah 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 so yeah. some of the early ones were, have, had much higher reported thrust but then obviously like they've, they've been they've been problems with that like thermal convection and all that kind of stuff yes whereas I think yeah the previous Eagle Work stuff that had been reported obviously none of this has been it was published the, properly before but, I think um, it was just on the forums yeah just on the forums talking about sort of roughly that same kind of level of yeah. thrust Yes. Um, so yeah. That, yeah. So basically, it sounds like this. This is what they're reporting is 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 the stuff that they'd already kind of come out and said like last year and stuff. It's this this level of thrust. So what um, we suspect is going to be in this paper. Then we're going to get we're going to get these measurements and things, but we're also going to get presumably uh, details of the exact methods they've used. Yeah. Um, all the different all the different controls. So everything that they've done. Yes. That they've eliminated as a possible you know source of, of erroneous yeah like thermal convection yeah like you said. that was yeah. one of the early things that was criticized yeah uh, one of the early you know thoughts that maybe it's something to do with that it looks like that's probably not the case pr provided this abstract and, and title and stuff are correct yeah, sure um so i guess yeah i, I guess so now the cool thing now is that once that paper's out then you know the normal scientific process will happen and yes. other groups will come in and say okay you haven't done this you haven't controlled for this. Let's go away and do that, and, yep. and, and like build on it. So we'll finally get exactly. We'll finally, um, hopefully, get this nailed down. Yeah, um, which may end up, you know, leading to a test in space if the uh, error can't. You know, if if nobody can get rid of that thrust, essentially, with some other process, no one can account for it. Yeah. Except for the fact that it's producing it within the M drive. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, if it, if it is, if it is what what the what what it seems to be, which is there is some kind of strange either like exotic physics going on or just some 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 something kind of strange resonance of microwaves or something that we don't quite fully understand sure that does sort of fit within our uh, current understanding of physics yeah um if it is doing these things the kind of implications of it uh, we've spoken about this in previous videos yeah, yeah. but um you know you just imagine like it, you basically end up with you could have spacecraft that you don't need to take fuel you don't need to take heavy fuel with yeah. you you just use electrical power so you can generate that from solar panels or like a nuclear reactor or whatever you want just to feed into your M drive you just keep accelerating and accelerating and accelerating yeah. without needing fuel to carry fuel with yeah you. there's lots of estimates on how I mean people don't really know exactly but how, how much it could potentially cut down travel times between objects and it's significant reductions yeah. in travel time yeah um, and there's also um, we did a video before about using it to power other modes of transport like sure. aircraft and stuff that's a f that's uh, that's come from Shoya I think yes. other, other groups who are doing this don't think you can make a high thrust version but yeah I mean um, he said some stuff about if you use superconductors and things yeah. you can build these in atmosphere Even higher thrust, or whatever yeah. yeah higher thrust but I mean who knows I it's mean all, maybe maybe but, maybe, yeah, maybe. Sure. For, for steps we, are, we got to actually work out if this thing works if it yeah. does what they think it does and sort of how and why yeah. it's happening but yeah so it could be 
so the yeah, other transport methods potentially and then we also might learn something new about physics right from these yeah from these 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 measurements because yeah i mean it's obviously doing something that well i mean again shoya thinks that it's doing something that is easily explainable he he seems to think he understands how exactly how it works mm. and a lot of other physicists don't seem to think they understand how it works or if it, and, and well i'm very skeptical that it works at all yeah so uh, well maybe maybe we'll learn something new about how even if it's not new physics, it might be a new way to manipulate existing physics that we hadn't really thought yes. of. So it could lead to a whole new family of, of engines for propulsion yeah. for various things, but also maybe other just like types tools, of technology. Thing, yeah, just some things, other tool. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think I think his, Scheuer's explanation, um, it's not that people, uh, people, it's not that people don't, don't just not buy it, but they also sort of don't really understand what he's getting. Yeah, no, sure. sure. Um, but yeah, no, it's, it's a tricky one. But yeah, I mean, so on the one hand, we could be just learning some some really cool uh, cool ways of manipulating, you know, current our current understanding of physics using microwaves or whatever in a slightly different way to do mm-hmm. things. On the other, like sort of wildly speculative end of the scale, we could actually be learning something totally like new about the universe. Through yes, this. maybe, maybe, maybe. It's doing something weird. It's doing something weird. It's doing something weird. Do you, where do you fall in that spectrum? Do you think? I mean, so not that spectrum, but like so. So <laughs> on the one hand, of being okay, like really excited about the potential of having a propellantless drive yeah, for spacecraft and feeling like this is actually going to be like a huge breakthrough and stuff. On the other hand, feeling like this is just, just being totally skeptical and yeah. being like, nah, this is this is obviously just going to get written off in a few years as just bollocks. Do you um, have a, do you do you fall anywhere in there? Probably, I, I mean, I I think well, there's obviously you don't take a position unless you know. Yeah, of you course. don't have. But yeah, that's like, boring. That's boring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't mean like as a scientist. No, sure, I sure, just mean sure. Yeah. Do I, what do I think might yeah, happen? Yeah, or, yeah. I think it's I think it's correct to be skeptical, and I I just can't help still be skeptical of it. I mean, there there is obviously something odd going on. Yeah. Whether whether it's. Uh, an unusual measurement Some, something either it's either we'll learn uh, something interesting about methodology about how to do these types of this type, this type of work and how to better account for thrust changes and yeah, various yeah, other yeah. things and so you know we'll either learn that or we'll learn something like this is crazy a whole new different uh, breakthrough in, in loads of different fields um, I think I I th- it's so easy to not to, to just kind of get on the hype train isn't it it, it really because, is because because I think my deep my default position is generally to feel like nah, it's it's probably That's not probably... It's, it's probably not what we what we everyone's saying it is. Yeah. And by it, everyone, I, I mean rather than the scientists themselves, I just sure. mean the people who who love to hype about it. Um, but then when That's I start probably talking safe... about it and thinking about it, it's yeah. it's quite easy to convince myself to be very excited. <laughs> yeah, I think I think cautiously excited. I would probably yeah. describe myself yeah. as being. I, I, I'm, it's I'm just sim- really mysterious. I just kind of want. I just want to know more about it. Yes, I'll definitely be reading that paper. I probably need to Google like every third word in it. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'm more interested to see uh, hear about other scientists' reactions yeah, as well. Definitely from yeah. from generally in the field because mm. a lot of people are. Or I don't know if they're less skeptical now. They probably are slightly less skeptical. Um, we're extremely, you know, against not against it being tested, but just like this is ridiculous, kind of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thought, don't even waste your resources on almost. On yeah, it, yeah. Um, but I, it could end up being the same same thing as the neutrino. Yeah, sure. But I mean, that the again, neutrino. you know, that was worth exploring. Yeah. Publishing it, and then it could get knocked down through like follow up sort of yeah exactly analyzing the data that's what i mean that's like that's a cautionary tale for getting excited about something yeah exactly yeah that seems amazing and and is going to change everything and turns out it was loose wire yeah um (laughs) but the 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 difference here is that it is a lot of different groups around the world take getting similar measurements uh from a device with with similar but varying setups it's not like there's a loose wire in each of them there has to be something that they're all doing wrong yeah um and there's there no, something that, and none of the groups have been able to account for and figure out exactly yeah. why it is they're doing it wrong yeah. so it's going to be something weird whatever yeah some, pro- some really kind of like small caveat in the way you do do this kind of yeah. research or it's real what do you think everyone's going to react to the paper how do you think the general kind of population is going to react i mean there's going to be a lot of news stories yeah. that are going i mean it, you know big big splashy headlines saying you already get oh that just from the from from the announcement of it being yeah, yeah. accepted i mean yeah. what else have you ever has this ever happened with i mean it must have happened before but just just the news of a paper being accepted for publication generating this much of a buzz not for a while i can't remember anything really and not like for something this. that's had such a long lead up 
Yeah. You know, it's people, been around People for following years. the peer review process of a scientific paper this closely is a bit bizarre. It is. Some, sometimes, you know, you, you, you're like a big news story, a big science, science news story will break when the paper is actually published. Mm. You know, that's kind of pretty normal. But this is much further back in that process. People have been talking about this paper for like a year or more. Yeah. You know, it's been in the pipelines. So yeah, there will definitely be an explosion of sort of media frenzy. The internet will go mental for a, yes. For a while. Yes, um, Reddit will be an interesting... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, there'll be the forums and like Reddit and stuff uh, will be will be kicking off. There'll be tons of speculation about, yeah. um, you know, where do we go from here? Because suddenly we'll have all that juicy details yes. from the paper. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, That's the best thing. The best thing is going to hear that over the, the few weeks after it comes out, I mean, the paper's going to be really exciting to read. Just kind of hearing the, the general chat in the science world as to whether people think oh maybe this is actually a thing and they've missed out this that would be that would be the kind of most yeah. productive and interesting thing to come out of it yeah definitely um, and going forward I mean 2017 could be a uh an interesting kind of year for yeah. for the M drive or I mean it's going to take a while for people to then re- redo these experiments uh, it takes a while for stuff to go through peer review and things so we might not get other papers on it until you know 2018 2019 yeah, sure. but if there's a general feeling that uh, it, it actually that, that that no one can really account for this thrust, and it, it seems to be the device. Then you get more groups working on it. More, groups, be more funding, for more it. funding, and of course the the most exciting thing is sticking the bloody thing in space. Yeah, let's get that done. <laughs> <laughs>